Well, Kimi AI from China has made some scene recently because this open source AI model is just really good. It is on par with ChatGPT, Gemini, or some big models out there. And now you can even use the AI tool from Kimi to generate some professional looking presentation with just a text description. So let me show you how you can generate a presentation document using Kimi AI. First, you have to navigate to kimi.com and you can create a free account. Right now, when I'm recording this video, there are only two ways you can create a free account, which is by using your Google or Gmail account and via your phone number. Now, after that, click slides. So there is a bug if you actually click, uh, sorry, if you type the prompt first and then you can you click slide, it will remove your prompt. So make sure to select or click the slides first, basically entering the slide generation feature. And only after that, you can try to describe the presentation that you want to create. Now, in this case, I want to generate a presentation about, let's say, how Aurora is actually created. So this is my prompt generate a presentation document about how aurora is created please use dark background okay let me just double check there you go now when you're done with the prompting oh by the way you can also upload some document if you want to include some uh, info from documents like pdf or ppt or txt it's up to you you can include that but right now i'll just use the uh, simple description because this ai tool is actually coming with a search capability so it can get content from the internet to get the latest or the most relevant information now at the moment what it is doing is not creating a document it is still trying to create an outline for the presentation and by the way this outline is basically editable you can modify the content later after it was generated essentially you can replace this section of text and then you can it, it will kind of guide AI about what is the content that will be inserted into the slide. Now, after that, after the outline has been generated, you can either edit or you can also just continue. But there are three options that you can choose. So right now, when I'm recording this video, they recently just added Nano Banana. There you go. So there are three options. There is Nano Banana Pro, there is Adaptive, there is Classic. Now, there are only two options that I do recommend. And personally, it, for me, there is only one option that do really work, which is Nano Banana Pro. So basically, it is very similar to, uh, I think, Google Slides. Yeah, Google Slides do have a feature like this where you can create a presentation document, but it is essentially just pictures that were created by Gemini Nano Banana Pro. And the benefit of using Nano Banana is it is very good. The style is just wonderful and in fact it will see your prompt and you can specify the color the style the layout etc and it will affect the design of the slide but the prompt description is not going to affect if you choose adaptive or classic the classic here is essentially you are selecting a template and it's just not very good that the template is just changing the text and that's about it it is not changing the color it's not changing the visual content it is just replacing the text which is fine in some cases but if you want to get something that, that is a bit more dynamic then i do recommend to choose adaptive now this is actually a combination of the two because it will add some images it will replace the text as well but it is in my opinion still not as good when you're creating a custom presentation slides using a gemini nano banana pro so it is really up to you but the benefit of using the adaptive and classic is the content is actually fully editable you can modify the comment uh sorry modify the content directly in the platform whereas if you use nano banana pro then it is a picture you cannot change anything there is nothing you can change because again it is a picture so it is up to you which option that you do, that you want to try but uh given that right now it is still free i think it makes more sense actually to uh, select nano banana pro because the model is just very good at creating images and the design looks wonderful so that's the one that i use but again if you prefer to get something that is more customizable then go with the custom layout anyway this process might take quite a while maybe up to several minutes and i'll just skip over and show you the result and how you can download the file as a pbdx document to your computer so i'll be back in a second
Okay, so the document has been generated and you can preview them. And I think it looks great because it was created by the Gemini Nano Banana Pro. But again, you cannot change the text. You cannot change the color or modify the position or the placement of some elements on the slide. It is just not possible. Anyway, if you want to save this to your computer, click save first. Just wait for a few seconds and you can click download. And you can select the output format, PPT or image. In this case, I want to use PPT or PPTX. And for font embedding, don't embed because I'm using Gemini Nano Banana Pro. But if you select the other options, then you might want to embed the font just in case your computer don't have the fonts that were used by the documents. So in this case, I'm totally fine not embedding the font because after all, these are just pictures. And for slide transition, of course, I don't need them. Again, these are just pictures. Click download and you'll get a PPDX document that can be opened via Microsoft Point. And of course, you can later import that into Google Slides if you prefer that software. So yeah, that's basically how you can generate a professional presentation using Kimi AI. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. I wish you a great day ahead.